The economic environment needs to change at the government level as it will facilitate the case or the ease of doing business and improve access to credit in Nigeria. This advice was given by Professor of International Finance Law, Graham Penn, at the 2024 Annual Lecture of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, which was themed Improving Availability of Credit in the Nigerian Real Economy, the Critical Importance of Liquidity. Professor Penn said clear regulations on the balance sheet and the regulatory effect of loan transfers for both the supply and demand side of the loan are part of the challenges to be addressed. Justin Akadonye tells us more. Members, fellows and visitors converge on this hall. The CIPM Annual Lecture, a public policy forum established by the Institute, brings together stakeholders to participate in discussions on current economic matters. The focal point of the 2024 edition revolves around the expansion of the real economy as access to credit in this sector is relatively limited compared to other regions. Stepping onto the stage, the President and Chairman of the Institute Council addresses the audience emphasizing the Institute's recognition of the crucial role that access to credit plays in driving economic growth and prosperity. The CIBN says it remains committed to promoting the availability of credit in Nigeria. According to the survey report conducted in more than 40 economies and released by statistics in 2024, nearly 141 trillion U.S. worth of credit have been lent out to the new sector in advanced countries in the second quarter of the year. The figures were twice as high as the volume of credit to the same sector in emerging markets. And the final wave of regulations have been pushed back. Taking a historical perspective from the global financial crisis, the guest lecturer, Professor Graham Penn, an expert in international finance law from the University College London, highlights the importance of the secondary market in improving diversity in liquidity availability and credit risk transfer. So the securitization that we see in the world today, post the global finance crisis, is completely different from the world that we saw before the global finance crisis. So the, the simple structures, I mean, you, you made a comment earlier about this being sex, sexy. I don't see this as sexy at all. It's incredibly simple. It's incredibly basic. And the structures that are used are incredibly simple and incredibly basic. The Lagos State Government also speaks on the relevance of the lecture, particularly during a time when the nation's economy is undergoing re-engineering and restructuring. Other speakers shared their perspectives on the topic and its impact on both the supply and demand sides. Therefore, there is no doubt about the fact that the theme of this year's lecture, improving availability of credit in the Nigerian economy, the critical importance of liquidity, is apt as it speaks to one of the major imperatives for regrowth and development. It also seeks to address one of the major impediments against the growth and survival of the risk sector, especially the agricultural and the manufacturing, and the manufacturing sectors. The need for improved liquidity has led to a call from stakeholders for recapitalization of banks and their classification into three categories, tier one, tier two, and tier three to ensure institutional stability, liquidity, and strong global rate. To improve liquidity, there is need to improve asset and liability management. Professor Penn further identifies additional challenges that need to be addressed to enhance credit availability, including confidentiality issues under Nigerian law and practice, as well as clear regulations governing securitization to facilitate the conversion of loans into tradable securities, among other measures. Justin Akadoni, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.